Well, welcome back, everybody. This is Troy Fullwood with Pinnacle Investments and The Thriving Investor. And um, this video here, I want to talk with you guys about our matrix. And oftentimes we get asked uh, questions about, you know, hey, what are you guys buying? What's your focus? Okay, fair enough. Um, I can tell you this. We've been buying the same stuff for 23 years, okay? Not much has changed. We're really good about staying in our lane on a regular basis. Um, occasionally, we'll go outside of our lane to pick up a deal here and there if it makes sense. But the reason we focus on residential performing notes and non-performing notes, first lien positions, is because that's where the most fish are. That's where the biggest opportunities are. It also keeps us from putting too many eggs in one basket at the end of the day as well. Um, so that's always been our core business. Not to mention that everybody's gonna need a place to live, right? So that's what motivates us to stay in this lane. Now, that being said, I wanna just review our 2019 uh, note matrix with you. And for all intents and purposes, this literally has been the same for 20 years. Um, maybe the font's a little different, maybe we've added a few little things, but it really has been the same for 20 years. And, uh, and it's because it works. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So um, quick guidelines. So all deals must be off-market deals, okay? You must be able to talk directly to the seller. Um, you must be in control of the deals, okay? If you're gonna bring us a deal, don't bring us a deal that's a broker chain. It's two, three, four, five people in the deal. If you can't talk directly to the seller and I can't talk directly to the seller, then oftentimes we're just wasting our time. Um, we will protect you with a broker fee agreement if in fact we decide to buy the deal. Um, we'll only provide a proof of funds when we have interest in a deal, okay? We don't put out proof of funds just to look at a deal and neither should you. People that are asking for that type of information are other brokers. The reason they do that is they do it to go shop that money to go find deals. So it's massive misrepresentation on behalf of that other person. So if you have somebody coming at you saying, hey, we will only let you see this deal if you can show us your checkbook, run. That's like, you know, run just run okay i'll just leave it at that um you've got to know what sellers expectations are what their strike price is okay it's imperative you don't know what that strike price is um you're just you're just shooting in the dark you don't know what the target is you don't know how to help them you don't know how to serve them at the highest level possible and i can tell you that 99 percent of the time it's not about money it when people sell their notes there's a reason why they're selling their notes Okay, there's a reason why and that why is what is the most important aspect of that relationship and understanding how you can bring the most value to them to help them accomplish their goal um you must know if the seller is doing an all or nothing trade this is on portfolios or tapes of product uh can the tape be cherry picked okay oftentimes we ask that with non-performing loans okay so uh, SFR product, okay? Minimum balance, uh, 50K, okay, on a note, up to $25 million based on unpaid uh, balance. Uh, pay history's gotta be current, will allow one times 30 in the last 12 months. Um, minimum per asset is 50,000. Maximum is 400K. So if you bring me a note and it's $750,000 on a house, I'm probably not gonna be interested in it, okay? Um, age of the home must be 2005 or newly remodeled, meaning we don't want a house that's, that's from the 1940s and it hasn't been remodeled, you know, things of that nature. Now, if it's a house from the 1940s and it has been remodeled with updated electrical and plumbing and things like that, then that's a different ball game, okay? Occupied, yes, we prefer, but we will purchase rentals. Uh, we do nationwide. We buy all over the country. Um, you know, uh, hot spots, Arizona, California, Texas, Nevada, Oregon, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Colorado. Those are hot spots. Basically, southern 
region US, okay? That's kind of our hot spot. Hot spots are trading in the 60 to 90% of UPV value range, whichever is the lowest of the two, okay? Um, note this applies to single family owner occupied, single family non-owner occupied, one to four units, condos, townhouses, double wides with land, okay? Um, and single wide with lands, with land, okay? They both have to have with land. Uh, I'll purchase silos, must pass pre-underwriting for approval. These are purchased 30 days, okay? 30 days after they're done. In other words, one payment has to be made and no, they can't make it at the closing table and count it as one payment being made. 30 days have to pass and be in place, okay? Um, I'd highly recommend people use RMLOs when they do that kind of stuff because it just makes everybody's life easier. Um, SFR NPNs, okay? Um, once again, pool size 50K to 500 mil. We will buy one-off trades. Uh, unpaid principal balance, pay history, no more than four years past due in payments. Yes, people do live in their houses for a number of years without making payments. Um, minimum per asset, 50K, maximum 400K. Uh, age of the home, 205, 2005 or newer. Okay, it could be remodeled, things of that nature. Occupied, yes, preferred or uh, no longer purchasing. Here's the thing um, if it's not occupied, we're not really interested in buying vacant homes, okay? Um, that's not part of our model. If we have to buy it as part of the portfolio, then we will, but oftentimes we'll spin those off very quickly, okay? Uh, nationwide product is based on pricing. Uh, hotspots, Arizona, California, Texas, Nevada, North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, Georgia, Colorado, okay? Hotspots we're trading in the 40 to 60% of unpaid principal balance value range, whichever is the lower of the two. So if you've got an unpaid principal balance on a loan at 100,000, but the house is only worth 80,000, then our pricing is going to be off to 80,000. Same thing applies to performing notes, but you don't typically see that in the performing note business. You see it a lot in the non-performing note business, okay? Um, Rust Belt regions are less likely to trade due to regional issues. Maximum paid for Rust Belt areas is typically 30 to 40 percent, okay? Just kind of Straight up. You can submit deals through our website at www.pinnacle-investments.com or you can fax it into our fax number at 480-409-2678 or you can email us at troy at pinnacle-investments.com. This is the easiest way to, uh, to conduct business with us. Here's one of the things I want to point out to people though. If you have a deal, Okay, and you're like, okay, Troy, well, this one here is like, it's 48,000 and you said 50,000. I would still submit it. I would still submit it. But if it's a 20,000 and my minimum is 50,000, then I'm probably going to turn it down. If you submit it and it's 48,000, I may, I may make an exception to the rule. If you have something that's 425,000, okay, I may make an exception to the rule. Here's the point in these things, is putting some, some guidelines in place. Here's why I have to put guidelines in place, because there's always somebody out there that wants to send me a deal that's $5,000. None of us make any money on the deal, okay? It's not worth my time, it's not worth their time, and it's just, it's just, uh, it's just a waste of everybody's time. So let's not waste people's, each other's time. Let's do deals, let's close business, okay? Let's make you money, let's make me money and help you grow your business, help us grow our business, okay? That's really the reason for putting together um, this matrix. Now, you know, if you don't know, or maybe, you, maybe you've got something and you didn't see it on this, um, shoot us an email with the product saying, hey, Troy, take a look at this, let me know if you'd be interested in buying it. And I'll take a look at it and let you know if we're interested in buying it. It doesn't cost anything. We don't get upset about that. We look at it and give you a quick yes or no. Hey, we'd be interested in this. It's a little bit outside of our matrix. We'll make an exception on this for these reasons. Maybe the pricing makes sense, okay? Maybe the pricing makes a lot of sense um, to do that, to make that exception to the rule. My point being is, you know, send us what you got. Let's take a look at stuff. Um, the worst I can say is no. You know, that's the worst I can say. Um, it doesn't tarnish our relationship with you. It doesn't 
make us look at you any other, you know, any other way. It's, uh, we know, understand you're trying to get deals closed. We're trying to get deals closed. But oftentimes when I say no to something, it's not because it's this horrific deal, although sometimes it is. It's oftentimes because we don't have the capital for that type of a product. And at the end of the day, we have to turn it down. And I'd rather give you a fast no versus a slow maybe out of respect for you and your time and let you maybe let you take it to somebody else and work with somebody else to get it done. Okay. That's why we do those kinds of things. It's not to, um, it's not that we don't want to help you. It's not that we don't want to see you succeed. It's not that we don't want to see you make money. Um, but we're a big fan around here of a fast no beats a slow maybe primarily because we want to preserve our time and your time and close more deals and stay focused in on what we do best in the business. So that being said, this is our matrix. Okay. Real simple. Um, you know, the easiest way to submit them is through our website. If you got a one-off trade, you can fax it to the mortgage worksheet, or you can simply email us. Okay. If you email me and I don't respond within 24 hours, I didn't get it. Okay. Uh, sometimes people are emailing me and it's getting stuck out on our server because we have a spam arrest software that keeps out all the junk mail and it will give you a auto response and you have to click on that spam arrest link in order for it to come through to me. If you don't do that and I don't get it, then I don't know it's out there on the World Wide Web server, then I'm unaware of it altogether. But that's why I'll. Also, when I get deals, I will email you and say, hey, I got it. Thank you. I'll take a look at it here shortly. That way you're aware of it. I'm aware of it. And it's on my list of things to do. All right. So that being said, just want to give you guys a heads up on that. Okay. Now, here's the cool thing about this. Um, anything you guys bring us to me now at the end of the year, we're going to up your commission on it by a thousand bucks. We'll pay you an extra thousand dollars. So, um, hey. Give us what you got. We got a lot of money to spend between now and the end of the year. We would love to spend it with you folks who have been loyal followers and students and uh, business associates. So we want to come out there and help you guys succeed to the highest level possible over the next uh, several weeks that are left here in this year. So cool stuff. Want to just let you guys know that. With that being said, uh, this is Troy Fullwood uh, with Pinnacle Investments and The Thriving Investor. Take care. Bye now.